God is good. Please note that Father Michael's Ministries takes a biblical stance for Israel. This episode is called The Last Days. Uh, this is Praying for Hurting World. With, uh, all the verse of the day also is, these are two verses from Matthew 24. Matthew 24 verse 6 says, And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for the end is not yet. And Matthew 24 verse 36 says, But of the day and the hour no man knoweth, not even the angels, or the Son of Man, but the Father. This is Father Michael's Ministries, and this is what our statement of belief. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from snares of devils, from temptations of vices, from everyone who shall wish me ill, afar and near, alone and in multitude. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the freeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Please note that the, sta the official statement of the James Hendrick Empowerment and all programmers is not to panic or be afraid in light of current events. That is Satan's motive. And now, a stirring sermon from Father Michael. Hello, my people. Hello, my children. Hello, my parishioners. This is Father Michael of Father Michael's Ministries. Uh, coming to you today um, with my apologies saying you know, I know it has been a little bit while since I have podcasted some of the days I've tried my voice didn't want to work out well enough and and but I wanted to try today you know, definitely to give it a shot today because I, I really do have something I need to preach about and teach about a bit and as, you know, as we all know, you know, they're, they're, you know, Israel was attacked, you know, by this, these organizations and such. And you know, that's got you know the world, you know, up in arms and you know in fear and you know, and there's many people out there saying the end is near, the end of time is coming, you know. And, you know, Jesus is coming on the clouds. Well, yes, eventually this will all happen. But the, the time is nowhere near. I mean, you know, what happened in Israel was man's inhumanity to man. And that's exactly what it, that's what it is. It was, and that's the way it just simply is. But um, all of these ministers, you see them all over the web and stuff saying, oh, this is Bible prophecy about what happened to Israel and all this. And, and, and oh, the Lord's coming back and very, very soon. Well, okay. It's a possibility. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says no man knows the day nor the hour, nor the angels, nor Jesus himself. Only the Father knows God. God, the Father of the Christians. 
and as well as the Hebrew people. But um, as I was, and, and I'm going on to say that, don't fall trap to you know the you know this this war that's going on. Don't start being fearful. Because who is the author of confusion, fear, and fear? Ah, that would be the devil. That would be the devil himself. He is the author of confusion, fear, and all, all you know, of course, all your negative things there is. Anything negative, it's him. Surely not the, the, the God, our God. And Jesus and the Holy Spirit, of course, but... I'm just saying, and, you know, and the Bible also states specifically, you know, there will be wars and there, there will be rumors of wars, but uh, time has not yet come. See, what people, you know, really don't understand is we haven't had the seven years of global peace yet. Then after that, the years of the seven years of war. People don't understand that. And that is generally something kind of out of, out of the book of Revelations, really. But uh, the book of Revelations generally needs to be taught by five or six, you know, theologians, you know, to a group of people of whomever would want to learn it. Because it's really such a figurative book. There's so many, there's so many, um, uh, things that already really have happened actually but of course and if you are new to Christianity don't read the book of Revelations it's not going to make a whole lot of sense to you and it's figurative language a lot too so that's the last thing a new Christian really needs to do is get right into just start right off in the book of Revelation to stay out of it if you, if you, want, to, if you want to start reading the Bible start, start off with the book of John it's the longest one in the Gospels, and there, and and, um, and and hey, read the whole read, read the whole chapter. You know, it'll 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 do good for your your spiritual being. Meaning, the Bible is spiritual food. And you know, I mean, since we're saying talking about the Bible here, you know, B I B L E. That stands for Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. B-I-B-L-E. Now, in case anyone didn't know that, now you do, and now you can tell you can tell them that someone else. That's the thing that I like, though, is that if I inspire someone out there in the world enough, that I, well, what I say, what I preach, what I teach, how I pray, and tell someone else about me, and tell someone else to listen to me, you know, whether or not they're the best Christians in the world or, you know, they might die the next day of, you know, being shot and killed in the middle of the street somewhere, you know, in some of the inner cities and stuff, you know, in the United States. But, um, um, you know, but praise the Lord that, um, uh, you know, but we have a God. We have our Lord Jesus, you know, that he died on that cruel cross for our sins. He died, he died many, I mean, many, many, so many things that happened during the crucifixion. It would take me a long time to actually tell it the whole thing. I have said it in a lot of my previous podcasts, you know, myself going on pretty much six years here on this, pretty close. Just plain podcasting and uh, never getting one penny sent to me for anything, but that's fine. My, I'm, I'm talking about myself here. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, not going on a bunny trail. I'm actually, I'm actually changing the subject for, uh, because it's, uh, it's time that I was to say that, you know, many people in this world need Christianity, especially now. Many people need to become Christians. You know, all of you people out there that are, that are, are, are ministers, or whatever religion you may be, Christianity-wise, you know, the field is ripe. There are many millennials, if you ask, have you ever met Jesus, 
And they reply like, well, how am I supposed to meet Jesus? You know, and they, they're talking, you know, literally, they're thinking like, okay, it's just going to appear out of the thin blue sky. I mean, that's kind of, in a way, I hate to say it, but that's a lot of their beliefs. But, you know, me, my prime directive, you know, my Father, Michael, Father, Father Michael's ministry's prime directive is salvation. And that salvation is through the death of Jesus, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And believing that. And, um, I just want to, you know, get, go ahead and go to my altar call because I'm not sure exactly where you are right now, but if you're in an area right now that's uh, dangerous, you know, tonight might won't be a good idea for you, you to be a Christian, or if you know someone somewhere that's in a, in a position that way, that if they don't become a Christian, you know, they, if they die, you know, they'll go to hell. So I'm asking all of you out there, you know, please, you know, download, you know, my this you know, my podcast. Share it with it, you know, many people as possible. Share it, you know, especially with people, you know, who are, you know, really, really, really need to hear it, hear what I have to say. And all these almost going on six years worth of podcasts. So I've had many, many different many, many different um Subjects and but, um, you, but yeah, and, and on just, and the uh, whatever you whatever I uh, however you get your podcasting, well whatever it, whatever it may be whether it's Spreaker or YouTube or a Heart Radio or whatever it is you know you know that I'm uh, from uh, what I've seen and what I'm understanding also about Father Michael's Ministries. I happen to be up there with Joel Olstein and T.D. Jakes as the same as it's been popularity, but yet I'm still working on getting something going for this movement I keep talking about. But, you know, it just ha- it's, it's obviously God's, not God's will yet. But I'm still working on that, and I know many of you don't know what that is because I haven't really said anything about it totally. But I am working on it, and yes, it has to do with our bands and T-shirts. I can tell you that much. But hallelujah! And one thing is, I am not one of these motivational speaker preachers, though. Even though they've got me up in leagues with you know somebody like Joel Olstein. I'm not one of these motivational speaker preachers, and that's what he is. Okay, that's what he is, and that's what he does. I'm Father Michael of Father Michael's Ministries. I believe in, you know, telling people about, you know, the greatness of being a Christian and being, and when you die, being in, in, eternally in heaven. To whereas, you know, there is no sorrow, there is no pain. The Bible, the Bible um, uh, you know, promises this, this. There are no tears up there, the Lord says. But there will be, but the, the word also says, you know, there will be many people who will go into the fiery furnace, as it says, and they will be, they will be, they will, they will be in torment. And then they, they use the word, they use the term, the gnashing of teeth and everything. So it's not worth it. Come on now, people. If, if you, people out there, I want to ask you now, this is an altar call. What this is, is I'm asking you something. I'm going to ask you right now, as a matter of fact, are you a Christian? Now, if, or if, or have you backslidden? Now, now, if you answered, you know, you know, if you answered that, you know, you're not a Christian, you need to become one or you will burn in hell. Or if you backslidden, you need to get right back with God to stop doing what the evil you're doing. Repent to him. You know, that's why Jesus, one other reason Jesus died is to where we can ask God for forgiveness of our sins. At any given time, we can ask God to ask us forgive us. So, um, um, I've got an um, altar call to, uh, in the prayer and that I made up myself. It's short, but it speaks volumes. And if you want to be a Christian, you know, I'm going to ask you just to re- repeat these words after me. Okay, say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of my sins in word, thought, 
indeed. In Jesus' most holy and precious name, amen. And thank you for saving me from, from the fires of hell in your precious name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If that's the first time you ever prayed that prayer, you are a Christian now. Welcome to the world of Christianity. Please find yourself a Bible-based church. Please investigate this church. We don't want no Jim Jones problems again. By no means. So make sure you do that, please. And get you, yeah, you speak to your minister about getting baptized. If you have been backslidden and you're right back with the Lord again, stay with the Lord. Stay with the Lord as much as you can. Because in this day and age... It's, and many things are uncertain. That's the only thing I could really say. But, um, uh, but I just want to, want to go ahead, you know, and ask all of you that here, you know, and me, please, please uh, subscribe and uh, please give me a like or get, please download um, my podcast. You know, I would I would appreciate you to do that. I I'd like to I'd like to know as many of you out there that can please give me a like please show show me that you're listening to me. I want to know who out there is listening to me. All of everybody is listening to me. I want to know because I want to know if I made a difference in your lives or maybe somebody's life that's in your family or your friends or something. I do this to make a difference in, in people's lives, not for the money. If a minister is in the ministry for money, he will not make it eventually. He might make it make some at first, but God will strike him down just like they did in the 1980s too. I'll tell you what, God does not like people stealing money off his people, so I'll just say that much too. But all right then, well, I'm going to conclude my podcast here, and as I usually do, I am going to take a five-minute pause for you to ask God for anything you want. May it be holy, and I will give the pause. And I say all this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We certainly hope that you enjoyed listening to the Bible teaching and Bible preaching of Father Michael and Father Michael's ministries. Please know that we pray for you and we stand for Israel. We ask you to please do not be afraid. That's the degenerate culture the devil has for us. This is Father Michael's ministry saying until next time, take care and God bless.